I denied you many times, but that time almost OD'd. I called out to you, why? If I didn't believe, why would I call to you to not let me die? When you're at the end of your road and darkness is coming, you get scared because what if all those people are right? That there is a God, a heaven, and a hell? Then that means, nah, I can't go yet. Don't let me die. I'm at the end of the road and I can't let go. I didn't want to let go. Maybe I knew what would happen if I left this earth in the state I was in. I mean, being up for six days straight, a meth addict at that particular time was rather a situational type of fate. Did I believe in fate? I do believe I made wrong choices and got caught up. Who knew the daughter of two teachers from a small town in Tennessee would become a drug addict? I remember holding a knife to my wrist after I just sniffed the longest line of coke in the history of white powder lines because this guy wanted to see my teeth chatter. Again, at the end of the road and I can't let go. I tried to go but got pulled back to the main road knowing I needed to find the smaller back path to someone whom I'd heard of but not truly known. Jesus is his name, and he led me through the pain, through my tears, and reclaimed my name as his. He welcomed me home. Now, don't get me wrong, when I left it was a fight. The enemy was doing all he could to get me to go back to that fast life, making me feel like I was tripping, that clear breast strip, paper type of acid trip. But I stood firm on the rock. All I can say is his arm is never too short to save. My friends, this is a fraction of my story. I'm telling you so that your eyes, mind, and heart can see him through my pain, my dark night. I'm at the end of the road, and I can let go. We all have a past, but let's not stay there.